up everyone it's your girl shay here and i'm back with a whole nother video for you guys and for this week's monday motivational video it's going to be on patience and the reason why i decided to choose this topic is because i think it's something that so many of us struggle with from one degree to another some people have very good patience and they only lose their patience once somebody or something really tests it but some people don't have that great of a patience and the littlest thing will set them off. For me, I'm kind of in the middle, depending on certain times or certain people or certain situations. But it's regardless, I think it's still something that all of us need to work on. I'm sure all of us have been at a store or have been somewhere doing something and something tries our patience. For example, if you're in the mall or any kind of a store and they're running behind or there's not enough people, so there's a really long line, it really tries your patience. For I know for me, when I go into a store and if it's a really long line, I necessarily don't want to shop there because I'm like, it's a long line, I don't feel like waiting. But that's not, but what that means is that I'm not, you know, being patient. Though that's one thing that really tries my patience and it's something that I really have to get better at. But there's some things that I'm pretty good about being patient about. So for example, if I'm in a store and there's not enough people and they're running around and it's taking a minute for me to get someone to help me, I understand that. And the reason why I understand that is because I work that retail life. So I understand how it is when half your team has called in sick and it's a really busy day. I know how that is so I'm able to feel for them. But I don't know why other things try my patience. But for those of you guys who struggle with issues regarding patience, it's okay. Patience. Have patience. Or, you know what? Work on it. So, for example, if you're someone who doesn't like traffic and you know traffic tries your patience, work on it. Go through traffic. But also think about it and realize this. If you're in traffic and you're getting upset, that doesn't make the traffic go by any faster. If anything, you're now recognizing the fact that you're in traffic. For me, I also don't like traffic, but what I usually do is I crank my music up, I sing out loud, and I do anything and everything to, everything to take my mind off of that traffic. But it's not just everyday life that tries our patience. Sometimes it's things within our lives that can try our patience. So for example, if you're looking for a job, that can try your patience because you're waiting and waiting and waiting to hear back from these companies that you've sent your resume to, but you have to be patient. And you also have to recognize that not every single one of them are going to be in contact with you. Or for example, if you're someone and you're you know, waiting to fall in love for the first time, or waiting to talk to someone, like talk to a guy or talk to a girl, whomever it is, and you're just waiting to fall in love, that takes patience. Because a lot of those things you can't just rush into because sometimes if you rush into them, they can become very messy. You rush into a job, you might be in a job that you actually don't like or at a company that really isn't doing as great as you thought they were. And if you're rushing to a relationship, just because you're not being patient, you could end up with the wrong person, or you can end up in a situation that you didn't want to be in. That's why you really have to learn patience, not just regarding things like traffic or retail stores or anything else, but patience regarding your everyday life, jobs, relationships, family. And if you have someone in your life that does try your patience, try and recognize that that is something that tries your patience and try and figure out how you can work on it. If it's a certain person, you're like, this person just tries my patience. Try being around them for a little bit and try and see how long you can handle it before you start to lose your patience with them. Or just take a deep breath and breathe and learn that you losing your patience is gonna cause an even bigger problem than if you didn't. And a lot of times recognizing that can help you pull back to pull away and realize that I have no reason to get upset. Because if I get upset, it's going to cause an even bigger issue. So learn patience. I know it's something that all of us have to work on. Like I said before at the beginning of the video, I know I still have to work on my own patience. But it can be done. You can definitely do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I have another video out for you guys, hopefully on Wednesday. And I will talk to you guys soon. Like always, I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I leave links to my social media accounts down below, which are my Twitter, my Instagram, and my blog, where I also post book reviews. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy, have a great week. And I'll, like always, like I said before, talk to you guys soon and try to put a smile on your face. Smiling helps so much. 
拜。